Good morning, Jim Hopkins. Once again, you meet, you meet me in my house. And thank you very much for welcoming me so warmly into your homes. Well, Jim Hopkins, it's about almost uh, two weeks now that we've been, uh, you know, locked down or stayed at home. Last assembly, I showed you a video or I talked about the COVID-19 and little Rania demonstrated how we can keep ourselves safe by washing our hands. So she actually demonstrated on how we should wash our hands for as long as 20 seconds. Now today, children, this has become a very serious situation that we really got to take care of and we really got to keep safe. Now I want to show you a video that shows us what happens when the virus gets into our bodies, okay? From our throats and how it attacks the whole of our bodies. So how difficult it is if you get this disease and if you in turn infect uh, other people, especially old people, their parents and especially your grandparents. So children, you've got to really listen to what this man is saying about the virus and really take care. Personal hygiene is very important. You really got to wash your hands. You got to sanitize things that you bring home. Uh, you know, when your dad come or somebody who comes home from the grocery shop, you got to sanitize your the bags, the plastic bags, and the door knobs and uh, buttons of lifts and so on. So we really got to be very mindful and careful. So please watch this and um, I'll see you in a bit. Well, children, if you had seen the video, you can see how terrible it is, how it can actually attack all parts of your body and finally they'll get shut down and that will be the end and it's going to be really really tragic and it's going to be very painful and you know the high-risk people the high-risk group of people who can get this and suffer from it will be people who are above 60. so please remember your grandparents and people around you who are older because if they were to get it it's going to be very bad for them so please remember this video and keep safe, wash your hands, sanitize uh, things around you. Okay, children? Now, I would like to talk about the last, or these two weeks that we've been in and another two weeks that we're going to go through and what we can do at home. It has not been easy. Almost two weeks now, isn't it, children, that you're at home? Yes. And you know, uh, when you look at it, this is the first time that suddenly you wake up and say, Oh my goodness me, you can't go to school. Not the normal school that you get up in the morning and then get ready to go to school, get the car and go to school and meet your teachers and meet your friends. Now we meet everybody online. Yes, we have FaceTime, we have Zoom, and we even have classes online. We are very lucky that you're still with your teachers with your friends online. And this is done for the whole school. For the Michaelia children, the little ones, they have games, they have circle time, they have signs, they have all sorts of things, they have literacy, they dance, they sing, uh, everything online. And then the primary school children now, you have books that you can read, then there are games that we put online. And this is the first time you are with your parents and at home, and you can do so many things with your mom and your dad and your siblings, okay? Now, please remember, this is also a time for you to be mindful of the people in your house. Of course, you need your space, but then you must also remember you are in other people's space. So your siblings, your brothers and sisters, don't fight, don't argue. I think it's time to learn to be nice, to be kind, to be gentle. And maybe, why not clean your room? Clean your room. Don't wait for mommy to tell you to clean your room or get somebody else to clean your room. Why don't you do it? Then you can see how beautiful it can be. This is something 
you can inculcate in yourself a good habit and after a while you do it more often it becomes a habit it becomes a routine okay so why don't you do that children and also why don't you learn to look at your timetable and your books so that next time when you go to school you can pack your own bags according to the books that you need for the particular day and i think the most beautiful thing about this is making with your mom and your dad yes this is the time actually you can have conversations. You can do so many things together. In fact, we have put on Schoology online activities that you can do with your mom, with your dad, and things that you can enjoy. And maybe a few of you would like to try to cook or to bake and then put that online so that you can share it with us. Okay? That's one thing that you can do at home together. And before going to sleep, say a little prayer for everybody. Because children, we need to be safe. We need to be together. We need to come back. And to come back home and to rejoice. So for the time being when we are home, make the best use of it. Read all the books that you didn't have time. Or take up something on YouTube, you know. And have more conversations with your mom and your dad and value and respect everybody at home. People at home who are cooking, cleaning the house, you know, uh, you too should help cook maybe a little bit, but at least clean your room. And then uh, be nice, be gentle and smile. That's all be very positive about this time that we're all together. Now, before I go, I would like to talk about what Mr. Scott said. He's, he, he sent me this beautiful message and he said, In a theatre, when the show is over, they always keep a light on. And this light is called the ghost light. And it says that although nobody is in the theatre, but this light would always be on because it says, with it be on, we will come back. Yes, we will come back. So children, keep safe, take care. Because we all want to come back. We all want to be whole again. And we all want to be together in school. To just enjoy school and have fun with our friends. So please remember that light. We want to come back. Goodbye children. It's so nice talking to you today. See you again next time. Bye. I love each and everyone. Bye.